In this video, we are going to understand about the short trick to find HCF within 5 seconds. So let's have a brief introduction. What is HCF and what is LC? So HCF is known as highest common factor, whereas LCM is known as the lowest common multiple. So link for that is given in the description box. But in general, if I talk about then HCF is somewhat similar to divisor while LCM is somewhat similar to dividend. Hello my awesome students welcome back to my channel Akshar. I am Nana and I usually make videos related to Vedic Maths and short tricks to find out some topics of mathematics. So please do like share and subscribe my channel if you like the video. So let us start our today's topic which is how to find out HCF within few seconds. So if you will able to know the meaning of the HCF then you will be easily able to understand that what is HCF and how to find out the HCF. Then you will not need to see any other video and you do not need to cram that what steps we are going to use in HCF and LCM. Okay, so while finding LCM, I have told the meaning of LCM to you so that it becomes easier for you to understand that what we are going to do and how to find out LCM and HCF. So similarly, let's talk about the meaning of HCF first. HCF is what? HCF is highest, C is for common and F is for factor. So what does it mean? It means that this is the highest factor common for all the numbers. Means this is a factor which is going to divide each and every number. Means each number will have that common factor. And factors are what? You know that factors are the numbers like if I will write on the factors of 12, factors of 12 will be 2 into 2, 4 and 4 into 3. So this is my factor. This is my one factor. This is second and this is three means each number is going to divide my 12. Okay, so this is for my single number. But if I talk about more than one number, then HCF is that value that common value for all the given numbers, which is going to divide our all the numbers. Okay. So in it is reverse of LCM. How LCM was what? LCM was lowest common multiple. Right? Means this was the number. Means this was the lowest number common among all the numbers such that this number is divided by all these numbers. Means LCM is our if I talk about in simple manner then LCM is my dividend and HCF is going to be my divisor for all the numbers okay understood so let's talk about that if you want to know the trick for the LCM then you can see my previous videos so in this video let's start talking about the HCF HCF is when that factor which is going to divide all these numbers which is common among all these numbers okay so how to find out that number so there is a trick that the step number one is going to be that what you have to write down all of your numbers in ascending order okay so the first number should be your smaller number so all the given numbers this time are in the ascending order so write down your all numbers in the ascending order then step number two is that you have to find out the difference between each number difference between each number so what the what will be the difference difference between 12 and 36 is going to be 24 and difference between this and this is going to be 12 okay so now step number three is that what let smaller number is my hcf let my smaller number is equal to hcf in lcm we were imagining that our bigger number is lcm and in hcf we will imagine that this smaller difference is my hcf so this is suppose my 12 okay so 12 i have told you it is a divisor so 12 should divide each and every value so if it is devising so that means it is my it is my hcf otherwise i have to do next 
right so 12 is dividing 12 36 will be divided by 12 also and 48 will be divided by 12 also so my hcf is going to be 12 only. okay so moving to question number two so step number one is what step number one is that i have to arrange all my given numbers in the ascending order so all my numbers are in the ascending order 45 60 and 75 so step number two step number two is what i have to find out the difference between all of these numbers so 15 is this and 15 is going to be this also right so now my difference is same so let us assume that in step number three let us assume that my hcf is equal to 15 okay so check that if this 15 is dividing all these numbers what is divisor divisor is if you are keeping it at the outside and dividend is this number okay divisor is the number from which you are dividing okay so now check that 15 is dividing 45 completely yes remainder is 0 by 60 only also and remainder is going to be 0 also with the 75 so in this case hcf is going to be 15 only okay so let's move on to the example number three example number three again my step number one is what i have to write down all my numbers in the ascending order okay so step number two is what step number two is i have to find out their difference this is four this is also four and this is my two so what i will do now step number three i will assume that let my smaller number which is equal to smaller difference is equal to hcf so let us suppose our hcf is two so check that if two is dividing all the numbers completely or not so two is not dividing it two is not dividing this number two is not dividing this number two is not dividing this number so in step number four what we will do we will write down the factors of this number two into one so with two we have checked it is not dividing all the numbers so moving to the next number next number is my one so check with one if one is dividing all these numbers or not yes one is dividing so my hcf is going to be one okay <clears throat> if suppose there is some other factors also then if this is not dividing all these numbers then you will take another factor then you will take another factor okay next last question so step number one is what we have to write down our all the numbers in the ascending order so remember that always you have to write down all your numbers in the ascending order so this was not in the ascending order so i have written my numbers in the ascending order so this was my step number one so step number two is what step number two is that i have to find out their difference so our difference is going to be what 7 and 21 so step number 3 is what step number 3 is that let us assume my hcf is equal to my smaller number which is equal to 7 so now check that if 7 is dividing all the numbers or not 7 2 is that 14 7 3 is that 21 and 7 6 the 40 2 so my hcf is going to be 7 only okay so let's meet in the next video in which we are going to find out the hcf of some bigger numbers this was just an introduction for this method so let's meet in the next video in which we will learn that how to find out lcm of some bigger numbers suppose 513 one two one and five if you like this video then please do like share and subscribe my channel so that you can get more updates of my new videos so let's meet in the next video in which we are going to learn how to find out hcf of some bigger numbers so till then take care and bye bye